Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Lost Death DLC. I'm on my main PvP char, the Stamina Warden. I'm on two new PvP sets. The first one is a monster set called Ark Druid Deathric. First bonus penetration, pretty nice. Second one, when you deal damage with a heavy attack, a medium attack is enough by the way, after 1.2 seconds deal shock damage to up to 6 enemies with a 7mm cone, so a small front AoE, and applies major vulnerability to them for 7 seconds. Only 8 seconds active cooldown. Really strong monster set. Second one, Mara's Balm drops in the Rewards of the Worthy, so a PvP set. When a negative effect is removed from you, restore 2.2k health. With Bull Nedge on a Warden, we can simply perch on ourselves every 5 seconds automatically. Or if you just reapply Bull Nedge, you also purchase have one negative effect. Which means if we spam Bull Nedge, we automatically heal ourselves with Mara's Balm. And on top with Bond with Nature, a Warden passive. Anytime one of your animal companion skills end, you are healed for 1.3k health. Which means when you always reapply your bull match, you purchase yourself one negative effect, then heal yourself 1.3k with the passive, right? And on top with Mara's Balm. That's pretty insane. It heats almost like Vigor in a 1vx fight. It's brutal. The second effect purges all negative effects of you. It's like the Templar Perfect Synergy, the same stuff. Perfectly made for Wardens and probably also for Templars. Then on the front bar, an old school Overland set, proc set called Red Mountain. When you do damage with a weapon, so just any damage, you spawn a volcano that erupts after one second. So there's one second delay, launching a projectile at the close enemy dealing 7k damage. The tooltip is really high and the cooldown only 8 seconds. It deals around 4 to 5k ish, sometimes even 7k in PvP, depends on what target. It can also crit, by the way. A Smithic Markun instead of Mana Cut. Why Markun? Simply mainly because of Arctic Blast. They've changed the skill. The uh, Chilled status effect chance is increased now from 1 to 15% each hit. Chilled is basically always up. And Chilled procs the passive Glacial Presence for extra 10% more crit damage. As filler, like always, 120 FX HP. I am on 5 heavy, 2 medium, 5 impen, 1 well fitted, and 1 sturdy for prismatic glyphs, full infused on the jewelry with 2 weapon damage enchantments and 1 prismatic region glyph, front bar a sharp and more. With the poison damage enchant, you can also go with flame damage here for burning. And back bar, mass, balm, sword and board, powered and sturdy. With the escapist poisons, still the strongest poisons in game. In terms of skills, a lot have changed. Still execution or our twitch execute. Instead of sub training a sword, I'm using deep fissure for minor and major breach. This skill got changed. The first hit attacks the target after 3 seconds and the second one after 6 seconds. So it takes longer, but the second effect is way stronger. As you can see, the first two tip has over 9k, the second one 12k. Then this is still a spammable. Bird of Pay, they also change this one. It's now a snare removable, like Race Against Time. Snare immunity for 4 seconds. Instead of our momentum, using Rally, the burst here. We don't need another snare removable. And Stormback of Smiting still as ultimate. Back bar Lotus Blossom, mainly for the Major Savagery buff, and it goes 60 seconds a long duration. And on top, it procs the passive Accelerated Growth, which gives us Major Manding. 16% healing done, increase for 4 seconds. Then Bone Edge for Sustain, the Free Purge, and the Proc Mars Bomb. Then Vigor, like I said in the previous videos. You gain minor reserve now with Vigor, almost 3k armor, just for free for 20 seconds, insane. Ice Fortress, or resistance buff, and Arctic Blast. Now to change this one, it only scales now on your highest offensive stat, not like before, with HP. The second effect is a dot, not a hot anymore, it's also quite amount good of damage. Back bar ultimate, 
same like previous one, spare wall, alternative go with the trees. Race, not for extra resistance, max stamina, ulti region and HP. In my opinion the best one here. Wundus the serpent for extra stamina region, barfoot or Zuga's smoked bear hunch, we need the extra magical region, attribute points, 13 health and the rest in stamina. Potions, the normal tricep potions. CPs. Blue ones, Biting Aura, Master Dumps, do a sweep buff and Iron Knet. For more damage, D slot, do a sweep buff for Deadly Aim. Red ones, Sustain by Suffering, Pain Suffuge, Celebrity, and Slippery. Let me show you really quick a powerful PvP combination. Now that we have Arc Druid, we need to medium attack in between. So start always to pre buff yourself with Lotus from Age of Savagery, Bull Mage, Resistance Buff, Rally, also Arctic Blast now, and Vigor every 20 seconds for Minor Resolve. Then start with Deep Fissure, into Medium Attack, into Dizzy, into Dawnbreaker. If the tide is below around 30%, use Executioner as Execute. Alright, I will leave you with some gameplay footage. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.